I'm sure you heard about Tourette syndrome, but I'm sure you haven't heard about this. Tourette syndrome is very, very hard, especially when you are going through pu puberty. I was diagnosed with Tourette's when I was about three years old. It's been very hard for me, but especially since I'm going through puberty right now, it's hard for me right now. I have an anxiety disorder with my Tourette's, so once I get home and while I'm in school, my anxiety level is so high I cannot stand it. I know it. I know Tourette seems like it might be kind of simple, like you just have little ticks, but no, 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 no. Tourette syndrome is is a very hard syndrome to deal with, but it, you can also learn how to how to handle it. I have ADHD, ADD, coprealia, um, anxiety disorder, and many others. So I have a hard time, but I learn how to deal with it and to live with it. And those of you with Tourette's, listen and listen to me. Do not lose your cool and try your best. If you don't succeed, try again. With Tourette's, I I swear in school, and I I worry about irrational things, and sometimes I feel paranoid, like someone's watching me. I know that's not true, but I just feel that way. It's my it might be from a stimulants. I sometimes have a hard time focusing, and this is the worst time for my Tourette's because I'm going through pu puberty. That's the main point of this video. Puberty is the hardest part of Tourette's and thank you for listening but I'm, I'm gonna talk to you about what how what I do to handle Tourette's especially going through pu puberty I, I, I will pray to God ask, ask him for strength and courage and I just sit down and just relax tell myself that everything's okay and whatever stressing me out homework or a project I just do it and get out of the way with it. And I know it sounds it is very hard to do that, but you got to learn how to. It is very d difficult to use psychology like that. But what I just do is just relax and try my best and I I do suffer sometimes, but I know that it'll go away as time goes by and I just finish it. Thank you for listening. And I hope this helps you. You guys are Tourette's. Hey my, hey, my name is Matt, and I want to talk to you about Tourette syndrome. Tourette syndrome is a neurological disorder. I have it. It's really hard. It's, it's, a, it's really hard to handle. With Tourette's, I have an anxiety disorder, OCD, ADD, ADHD, a lot of others. And I have coprealia which makes me have the need to swear a lot I know it's sad but I, I can't help it and those of you who see people make noises and weird faces they may have Tourette's in school it's really hard for me because I think kids might think I'm weird because I might be weird and I feel really bad about it I've been diagnosed with Tourette's when I was three years old, about. And ever since then, it was kind of hard. So sometimes I, I used to have to take one biting the inside of my mouth and it really hurt. Now, since so I'm going through pu puberty, it's especially hard for me. Um, I get the big anxiety attacks and big, and really bad tics. I, I see the F word in class and stuff. I really cannot help it. In one time, when we were talking about slaves, I said, nigger. When we were talking about slaves, I just have no control. My thought process just switches to that. And it just comes out of my mouth for no reason. Tourette syndrome can be very hard, but it you also have to learn how to deal with it. And it gets easier and easier as you start practicing. With me, I have to switch my um, brain pattern to think of something else. And those of you who have Tourette's, please keep in mind to do never lose your cool. Keep on trying. 
and um, I'm hoping that when I'm older, the ticks will get a little bit better. Ticks are vocal or movements, sounds you can't help. And thank you for listening, and I'll make more videos. When I make a sound or movement, I sometimes feel ashamed, like I've done something really weird. Um, at school, some of my teachers think um, it's weird too, and they sometimes tell me to stop. And I explain to them that I can't help it, I have Tourette's, dude. But really, what really creates a tick? It's the neurons in your brain fire without any minute's notice. Yes, your brain fires for no reason. Brain fires neurons around your brain that creates you to create, to make a sound or movement. And that's what I do. It's very good to search on the internet, but if you don't, that's fine. You can watch my videos. I'm going to explain a lot about Tourette's, and it is a neurological disorder in the brain that consists of many syndromes, other um, disabilities, I mean. So please stay, stay tuned, and I'll explain more about Tourette's. This is my part six, I know. Ticks, ticks, ticks. What create ticks? Well, the answer is Tourette's syndrome. Yes, you must have heard of it. Tourette's is a neurological disorder that consists of many disabilities in the brain, such as tics, OCD, ADHD, ADD, coprealia, etc. Coprealia. It is an issue when you have to swear or talk inappropriately without any notice and you cannot help it ADHD you've heard of attention deficit hyperactive disorder ADD attention deficit disorder not hyperactive many of these things come with Tourette's Tourette syndrome is the top of the iceberg and those things are inside the iceberg a syndrome the definition of a syndrome is something that consists of many things one thing that consists of many other things so um, yes I have Tourette's and it's really hard in school I say bad words and stuff and it's understandable but also not understandable some teachers really do not enjoy it get mad but once I hear that Mozart had Tourette Syndrome, it's kind of weird, but Mozart had Tourette Syndrome. You search on the internet. Well, I could talk forever about Tourette's, but the main idea is that it is hard, and you have to deal with it, and it lasts the rest of your life. And, and with Tourette's, I really, really like, fuck, say words like that. I'm sorry, that was a tick. And please understand what I have. I cannot help it just cannot the neurons fire by itself thank you hello you've probably seen me in my other videos but my name is Matt and I have Tourette syndrome and I some neurological disorder in the brain and with Tourette syndrome I'm sure you've heard of it and it's especially hard in school like in school, I like um, say words I don't want and can't help it. My neurons fire for no reason. Um, but what's the hardest is that while I'm concentrating in school, like like a computer pop ups come out in my brain, like sad or mean, and I just I don't have no control of, of over those pop ups in my brain. Think think about it. You're, you're working on a computer, so kind of virus pops up and stays, and you cannot do anything. It just says like Tourette's. And in school, I say rather dirty words that I cannot have control over, and it's really depressing for me because kids laugh, and it's really hard. And Tourette's is one of the hardest things to deal with. It so hard. 
Um, I know that a lot of you might have other troubles, and please comment it on YouTube. But really, it's really hard having Tourette's, and, and please understand, it's like having an itch or a cough, and you have to do something, or stuff you don't want to have in your mind. Please stay tuned so I can talk about Tourette's. It's really hard to deal with it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Matt, and I took other his videos. And I was talking about Tourette syndrome, and yes, I have it. So, um, in school, I have tics like swearing and stuff, and it's I cannot control it. Yeah, I said that in my last video, but what I really want to talk about is OCD. OCD is stands for obsession compulsion disorder. It means that I obsess over things that are unimportant, like keeping stuff I don't need. That usually comes with Tourette's and ADHD. Uh, many of you heard of ADHD. So when your attention deficit hyperact hyperactive disorder, which I have a hard time focusing sometimes, so I take medicine. There's so many symptoms of Tourette's, but the main one is tics, which I swear and say bad words. So, as I said, if you see someone acting weird, don't judge them. They might have Tourette's. Hey, th my name is Matt, and I'm continuing with my hobby. Did you know that Mozart had Tourette syndrome? Yes. Tourette syndrome is a neurological disorder in the brain that that consists of many issues. One is um, tics, which people have with Tourette syndrome when they make sounds or movements that they cannot help. And yes, Mozart had it. Had it. There's a, you can search it on the internet, but Tourette's syndrome has a lot of stuff to it, like ADHD, OCD, coprealia, which means you have to swear. I have Tourette's syndrome, and I'm not retarded. So if you see people with Tourette's syndrome, please don't think they're retarded. Hey, my, na my name is Matt, and I want to explain to you something called Tourette syndrome. Tourette syndrome is a neurological disorder in the brain that causes people to um, make unwanted sounds or movements that they have no control over. Like me in school I have troubles with um, saying words I don't want like penis. I just say it and I can't help it. And many people have this syndrome. It's not a disease, it's a syndrome. So if you see someone making noises, they might might have Tourette's. Thank you.